I just wanted to do a quick video on a simple way to make a homemade quilt box. So we here in Kentucky are preparing, getting prepared for winter. We're thinking about winter. So what I'm going to show you here is just take a standard hive body. It doesn't matter if it's a, you know, whatever, whatever's in your hive. If you've got a 10 frame, 8 frame, 5 frame, whatever you're overwintering in, you just take a standard box. It could be a shallow, deep, really doesn't matter. It's whatever you have on hand. Just grab it. And I put four little, uh, four little brads, one in each corner. And the distance up is how much space you want the bees to have. So if you want the bees to have more space, say you're putting pollen patties and uh, candy, candy boards or whatever you're putting in here, you know, you can give them a little bit more. If you don't want them to have that space, you're worried about them building it up in the spring and filling this up with some comb, drop these nails down. So then what I do is I just build a simple frame and this is done with deck screws, two inch deck screws. I pre-drill and I chamfer the holes. That way you don't split any of the wood. And then the center brace also acts as a handle. And I just use fly screen. You can use fly screen. You can use number eight. Um, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So I staple this in and then essentially, so this is a box that you can use year round. Summer, you got brood in it with comb. Winter, you drop in your, your screen board. It sits on the nails. So it's sitting on those four nails. And then here I've got some uh, seat or some cherry uh, wood from my planer. But you can use wood chips that they use for like chicken bedding. And essentially, all you do is you just dump this stuff in. And this, you can put whatever heist you want, whatever, whatever you want to do. But what this will do is it'll keep your bees warm, but it'll also absorb moisture coming off the hive in the winter. So if you look at the bottom, you know, I just put a little salt in, but you know what, you got the picture here. You put in as much as you want, and now you have a breathable top overwintering. And if you want, you can provide a little hole here. Uh, I usually cut out a triangle, and then I can put a piece of wood in there in the in the spring if I don't want it to be there. So you can create an upper entrance very easily with this. Hey, I just want to show you that it's quick. It's, it's pretty simple if you you know have a few table saw, radio arm saw, that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, thought you'd like to see that.